All right, if everybody can look up, the first question I kind of want to ask you is if I were to call you up to the board and ask you to tell me what the length of, let's say, this piece right here, could you find out what the length of that side is? How many say yes? How many say no? How many are not sure? Normally what we've been doing when you have, let's say, a right triangle, we can count the, the boxes either way, right? When you have a diagonal, you really can't count boxes because they cut the boxes as it goes up. It, count, it, doesn't, it doesn't split the boxes equally. Anytime you have any diagonal, whether this one's G to F, F to E or E to F, or E to G, you cannot count boxes to determine the sides. Therefore, if you look to break this up into two right triangles, yeah, I could do this and make my two right triangles that way, but I've created another diagonal. So I can't find the area by doing decomposition. What was the second way I should told you that you can do area if not decomposition? They're not even though, Stephen, because look, when you get to here to here, yeah, that's a box, but then you have a little piece here. Okay, you go straight. How do you... You could go straight up this way, but that doesn't create it, it doesn't create a right triangle when you go straight up this way. You can't do it that way. Come on, show me what you mean. Do you need me to erase this stuff? Um, no. Can't you do this for both sides? You can't because it's cut because when you get this way, it's it's it has to be absolutely perpendicular to. It has to be either be parallel with the x, the y-axis, or it has to be parallel with the x-axis. It's just one of those things you can't do it. All right, so let me erase some of this stuff and get back to how we, we do want to do it. Given the hint that you can't do decomposition, what was the other way that I told you? Which is what? Decomposition or composition? composition? It's composition. You're creating a new shape around the shape that we're trying to find the area of. So we're going to do that, and I need you to use your rulers because it does make a difference. I'm going to cheat. Okay, watch what I'm going to do, everybody. I have to make a perfect square, in this case it's going to wind up being a square, around the shape of the acute triangle that I'm trying to find the area of. i got to fix that one. Okay. Now, at this point, I'm going to be honest with you. You guys know formula, you know substitution, you know evaluating units, right? It's a pain in the neck to go back and forth from this page, page 7, to page 8. So I'm going to allow you to take a shortcut, because you, you should all know by now the formula for the, for the rectangle or square and the formula for your triangle. But let's just talk through the process for a minute. Tell me what I would do in words to find the area of my black acute triangle. Mike, what would be the first thing you'd have to do? Okay, calculate the area of the square would be my first step. Then what? Bridget, you're good with the shape, so I'm going with you. Um, would you divide it by two? No, because it's a square, so we're going to just do base times height. Okay. But let's assume we found that area, and we're going to do it together. Then what do you need to do next? Charlie. Then you have to find the area of three other right triangles that subtract that from the area. Very good. In, in completing this entire composition, we've created three right triangles. So, Charlie, say it again. We would have to do what with the triangles? Exactly. Exactly. So, let's do that. 
first. Let's do the square. Count up the number of boxes for base. Count up the number of boxes for height. And give me an answer. For the whole rectangle. Liam, what do you got for the whole entire square? 36. 36. Agree? Six by six. Watch what I'm going to do. Right on the, the plane itself, make 36. Probably should have color coordinated my triangles differently, but we're okay. 36, and I'll make a whole, I'll make a note that this is the square. Do it right on here. It's, it's easier than having to flip back and forth. All right, let's do triangle one. Alex Vecchio, what are the length of my sides of triangle one? Six by check it again. Six is going to be doesn't matter whether you call it base or height. Six is six units is one side. What's the other side, Al? Want to do it together? Jack, you want to help him out? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, Al. One, two, three. Okay. Now let's do the. Go ahead. Okay. Now let's just do the math in our head because it's easier. Six times three. Say it out loud. Divide by two. Nine. This is nine. Do it right on there. It's simpler. You guys are totally get substitution at this point. Just do it. All right, triangle two. Lower left corner. Stay you and do it. This is two. This is my one, no. lower left. Oh, the base is one, yes. And the height. Six. Sounds good. Six times one? Six. Divide by two? Three. This piece is three. Triangle three is a little tricky because you're going to get an odd number when you multiply. This means you're going to wind up with a decimal fraction. Charlie, what's the what's the measurements of the sides? Um, five, by three, five by three. Five times three is three. split in half. Three. Seven point five. Okay, so we are going to add these and then subtract it from the whole. <laughs> Tell me what you guys get as a final answer when you get done. When you added up your three triangles, what did you get? Some of you are still having trouble lining. You have to line up your decimals. Look, guys, I'm going to line it up over here just in case. You have one is nine. We've got to make that 9.0, 3.0, and 7.5. Bridge, what do you get? This results in 19.5, but then you've got to subtract it from the whole square. 36.0 take away 19.5. What do you get? Ryan? 16.5 units squared. All right. Connect the dots on the next page, but don't connect, or uh, plot the points on the next page, but don't connect them. After you've connected your dots, double check it should look like this. It's like an arrowhead. So it's actually, yeah. It looks like it, it, if you ever watch the shows, if you ever watch the show Star Trek, yeah. Yeah. this is the so, thing that they wore on their chest. This is the badge. Okay. Whenever we construct a shape, the first thing we want to try to look to do to find the area, can we do this by decomposition? Who wants to come up and show you, show the group how you would decompose this? Where would you put the line?
Charlie, come on up. You want you want a cheat or you want to do it? You want, you want a little cheater? Let me set you up for a cheat. You can now do it with your with your uh, finger. All right, I can adjust that for you then. Oh, so you can't do that. Watch, hold on, ready? Now try, now move it. Oh. oh there you go. Okay. The idea is is look. All we need, we need an absolute horizontal side and an absolute vertical side for the two triangles created. Do we have it? Yes. Yeah, here's one. Here's the other for triangle one. For triangle two. Base height. I'm good. See what it did? My two sides have to line up perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical. Otherwise, if I can't do that, I have to look to use composition. All right, let's do area together. Triangle one. By the way, after I find the area of each shape, what am I doing? Am I adding the two pieces or am I subtracting? Say it out loud. Let's do it. Triangle one, what's the base? The measurement of the base. Go ahead. Count on your page, because you have it there. It's easier if you can use your pencil. Count again. Let me do it with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you said six the first time. Seven? What's the height, Jack? Okay, now let's do the rest in our head. Seven times four. Or split the four in half and make it a two. Seven times two. This is 14. Put it right on there so we could see it. What about triangle two? Michael Tags, what are my measurements? What are my measurements? That's a formula. Good. What do you get? Another odd number. You get 4.5. Therefore, what's the area of the entire shape, everybody? Sure, it's a shape. It's a, it's an irregular polygon. No, that's why I told you you had to sh you had to connect it in alphabetical order. I'll take a look at it in a minute. I lost I've lost you for a minute. Let's get back to what we're doing. What's the area of my entire shape? The hard part's done. Square units. Does anybody have any? Sure, because you found you. You have that when you decompose, you add the shapes. When you have to compose, you have to subtract the negative. What we call the negative space. Yes. What are they? What do you mean? What are they called? Up and down. You got to write down your homework. Did you write down your homework? You did, right? Oh, okay. okay. For the remainder of the period, I'd like you to all try the next one on your own. Come to me when you're done. I have the answer for you.